releasing 34 kg of CO2 per kg and 46 kg of CO2 per kg respectively during production. Instead, emissions from fertilizer, emissions from deforestation, energy use at factories, and the productivity of crops. Based on their analysis, the team studied the production of 30 popular food products, all the way through from farm to supermarket shelf. Factors considered included the nitrous oxide levels from fields. The team was able to estimate the number of kilograms of CO2 produced per kilogram of finished products. Their findings show that feta and goat's cheese both require huge amounts of water to produce. The experts suggest that shoppers should consider swapping to mozzarella, 9 kg of CO2 per kilogram, or halloumi, 30 kg of CO2 per kilogram. Looking at popular meats, ground beef was found to produce 25% less CO2 than pre-made burgers, while ham from the deli counter is a greener option than pre-sliced ham. And in terms of alcohol options, Gin releases 2.8 kg of CO2 per kilogram more than red wine. Other easy options include switching from milk chocolate to foam sweets, changing from frozen broccoli to fresh broccoli, and opting for yogurt from a paper pot rather than a glass pot. And while it might sound counterintuitive, the researchers say that shoppers should choose tomatoes from Spain over those from the UK. Dr. Eric Edland, VP of Science at Carbon Cloud, explained, a tomato grown in the UK that has travelled less but is greenhouse grown has a higher climate footprint than the Spanish tomato. Not grown in a greenhouse. This is just one example of how the food we perceive to be more artificial and processed doesn't always have a higher footprint. While you might worry that making these swaps will increase the price of your weekly shop. Carbon Cloud says this is not the case. The average costs of the high carbon and low carbon baskets were compared using www.trolley.co.uk, which confirmed that they were similarly priced. The basket of swaps proves that reducing the carbon footprint of Brit's weekly shop doesn't mean having to spend more money, Carbon Cloud added. The report comes shortly after researchers from the University of Bristol called for restaurants to add carbon labels to their menus to encourage diners to choose greener options. In their study, the team asked survey participants whether they would order a burrito with a beef, chicken or vegetarian filling. Each burrito was accompanied with a traffic light style ranking of sustainability of which the vegetarian option was in green for most sustainable. They found that 5% more of the participants went veggie when the eco-labels were included, while 15% more went for vegetarian or chicken, the second most sustainable option. The authors wrote, the eco-label was particularly effective among those who were motivated to act sustainably. The overall annual consumption of sandwiches across the UK has the same environmental impact as the use of around 8 million cars a year. Scientists have claimed researchers arrived at the figure after studying the carbon footprint of different types of sandwiches, both homemade and pre-packaged. The team from the University of Manchester calculated the carbon dioxide equivalent, CO2EQ a standard unit for measuring carbon footprints, for the snacks. Their calculation was based on British Sandwich Association, BSA, figures that 11.5 billion sandwiches are eaten each year in the UK. This shows the total carbon footprint, grams of CO2 per sandwich, of 24 shop-bought sandwiches. 
All day breakfast 1441.3 grams ham and cheese 1349.5 grams prawn and mayo 1254.7 grams egg and bacon 1182.4 grams ham salad 1119.1 grams cheese plowman's 1112.1 grams sausage and brown sauce 1087.2 grams double cheese and onion 1078.4 grams cheese. Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Whether it's turning off lights when not using them or deciding to walk instead of drive, many of us try to take measures to reduce our carbon footprint. Now. Scientists have revealed the simple supermarket swaps you can make to cut your carbon calories. Researchers from food data firm Carbon Cloud were commissioned by Natural Energy Drink Tenzing to investigate the carbon footprint of the average shopping basket. Their findings suggest that people looking to go greener should swap feta for mozzarella and make their own burgers instead of buying pre-made ones. In the study,